Google Ads bid strategies. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video on the Teach Traffic YouTube channel. It can be really confusing to know which bid strategy to use for your campaign. So I'm going to cover each of the different bid strategies, why you would possibly consider using that one, and also which one I personally use in my own campaigns and advise others at the Teach Traffic community. That's what we're going to be talking about. So big picture, essentially what you need to decide on first is if you're going to do Google's manual bidding or automated bidding. As it sounds, manual bidding is where you decide the maximum that you're willing to spend on a cost per click basis. And obviously it would differ for the different keywords that you're bidding on, but you are tinkering around with those different bids versus Google's automated bidding where you hand over the reins, the bidding reins to Google and they are going to uh, decide what to bid on for a click. And obviously they use all their different data points to make that decision of what to bid on. All right. I'm not going to spend time talking about manual bidding in this video because it's pretty self-explanatory. What I'm really going to focus on are all the different automated bid strategies that you can choose from and how you decide on which different bid strategy to, to choose really depends on what your objective is, all right? What your goal is from your campaign. So if your goal is to um, get more leads or get the phone to ring or, or just basically bring in more, more leads, then the bid strategy that you would possibly consider would be either maximize conversions or target CPA bidding. This is sort of big picture. If your objective is to get more sales, so you're in e-commerce and you're trying to actually generate revenue online, then the bid strategy you may consider choosing would be maximize conversion value or target ROAS bidding. If your objective is clicks, then you might choose maximize clicks. Or if you're just trying to get in front of a certain number of eyeballs, so reach a certain number of people, then you might consider target impression share. All right. So I'm going to go through each of these in a bit more detail so that um, it will be have a bit more clarity. And it's probably best if I go through uh, and I show you where to find these in your Google ad account. So here I am in my Google ad account and actually the bid strategy that I've chosen for this particular campaign I'm running. Uh, if you're unsure, we can just change our columns and we can go to our attributes and we go to bid strategy type and we go here and I am doing maximize conversions. Okay, so how we change our bid strategy or look at all the possible bid strategies to choose from is we have to go to the settings at a campaign level. So I go into my campaign and I go into settings and then there's the bidding section down here. So if I click on this, just to show you all the possible bid options you can choose, I'm going to go to change bid strategy. I'm going to do this. And if I click on this, these are all the automa different automated bid strategies I'm going to talk about. And obviously this is manual CPC bidding, which we're not going to do. So if I hover over maximize clicks as the help um, uh, shows, it says it sets bids to help you get the most clicks within your budget. Personally, I'm not a fan of maximize clicks because I would prefer Google's algorithm to optimize for what is my ultimate goal, which is sales or, or leads or whatever I, um, whatever it is, my conversion objective. Okay. So I very, very rarely use this particular bid strategy. Maximize conversions, which is the one I'm currently running. Uh, so this is one of my preferred options, which is, as the help says here, is to set bids to help you get the most conversions within your budget. Now, the risk with maximize conversions is that it's going to get as it's trying to get as many conversions as possible, almost regardless of the cost. OK, so it can kind of go a little crazy with your bids. And so just warning when if you were to use maximize conversions, that the bids can be quite high because Google's just doing everything they can to get as many conversions as possible within the constraints of your budget. OK, the default setting is for this target cost per acquisition to not be clicked, but you can select this where it's which is the target CPA bidding, as I mentioned earlier in the video, which tells Google I want to get um, as many 
conversions as possible. And this is my target cost per acquisition. This is my target cost per lead that I want you to try and get. All right. So very, very often we use this big, this bid strategy. I'm actually a big fan of using this bid strategy, especially the target CPA option, because it's pretty good actually at achieving that. However, your account does need a certain amount of data in order for Google to have enough data points to really optimize for this. The risk is if you set your target CPA too low because who doesn't want cheap leads, right? So I might set my target CPA for, you know, $5 and Google then is very, very constrained in what it will show impressions for and clicks. And so the risk if you set your target CPA too low is that you don't get any impressions and you don't get clicks, etc. Okay, so uh, I my personal preference is to set my target CPA to be higher than what I'm actually willing to pay for, to to kind of give Google enough rope to to find my target customers, and then over time I could possibly reduce it. Okay, the other type of bid strategy is maximize conversion value. All right, so that's like the equivalent for maximize conversions, but it's it's optimizing for a conversion value. And then you can also set a target return on ad spend. Now this is by percentage. So if you're in e-commerce, uh, you probably got, you know, maybe you, you need to make uh, three times revenue in order to cover your costs. So you would set your target ROAS to be like 300%. We've had situations where we've set our target ROAS to be 100%, which means we just kind of want to break even because there's a recurring element to their particular product and they're willing to lose money on, on the front end of the sale. But obviously what you set your target ROAS is a very individual uh, decision that you need to make. Just be mindful that the higher you set your target ROAS, possibly the less impressions and the less clicks you're going to get because Google's really trying to get a very, very profitable return on ad spend. Okay, so that is how you apply it in your account. And the other one is target impression share. And essentially it's, you know, sets you, it well, tells you here, automatically set your bids to increase your ads chances of appearing in the search page. And you can select where you want your ads to appear, anywhere on the results page, the top of the results page, or the absolute top. So the difference between top of results versus absolute top, the top is above the organic listings versus the absolute top is the number one ad spot. All right. So you can say, yes, I want to be the top of the results page, the percentage impression share I want to target. So you might say 75%. But Google don't go crazy and set a maximum CPC bid limit. I don't want to go above $8 or, or whatever it is. Okay, so these are the different bid strategies that I would, um, that are available to you. And as I said in the beginning of the video, the ones that I recommend are maximize conversions or maximize conversion value with this uh, checkbox ticked of target cost per acquisition, etc. So you might be wondering, when do you decide to implement Google's automated bidding? And that's a really good question. If First of all, if you've got a brand new account, I would not suggest starting with Google's automated bidding. My personal preference would be to start with manual bidding first, get some data under, under your belt, get some conversions happening, hopefully identify what are the obvious negative keywords that you're going to add to your account. I've got another video which talks about uh, how to optimize a Google search campaign. I'm going to put a link in the description. So definitely check out that video. All right. On how to optimize your account. And once you have a bit of data, then by all means migrate to Google's automated bidding. Now you might go straight to maximize conversions or you might even skip the maximize conversions and go straight to target CPA or target ROAS bidding. It kind of really depends on how much traffic and conversion data is going through your account. All right. Let me know in the comments if you've tried automated bidding and what your results were like. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. That's all for me. Thanks so much.